right. Shalom, Yasha Allah. All praise and glory to Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai. Basically, uh, it's a GMS, a Boston City Quickie. I know it's been a while since we uploaded, so we want to get back on that. Um, so lucky to you, brothers. Um, basically, I just want to touch up on a quick script and a precept concerning gifts, because you got this clown Nate, you know, Officer Nate Dog. You know, he's at it again. He even took that 501c3 tax exempt status, and now this guy is just, you know, being a complete demon now. He basically didn't sold it out. And basically, I just want to bring a quick scripture real fast. It's the book of Proverbs, chapter 17, verse 23. It says, A wicked man taketh a gift out of the bosom to pervert the ways of judgment. And basically, when you look the word pervert up, it's in the Hebrew, natah, which basically means to incline, to turn aside, to turn away, to thrust away. And basically, that's what Nate has to do now that he's tax-exempt under that 501c3. You know, it's certain things that he can't teach anymore. He can't judge with the scriptures according to the Heavenly Father anymore. He has to go by what this devil says now, you know. And basically, you turning a, away or turning aside the ways of judgment of the Heavenly Father for your benefits under that 501c3, which is you basically made a covenant with the devil, you know. So this guy, Nate, is basically perverting the ways of judgment off of that bribe or that gift that he take, that he took from this devil, you know. Uh, it's another precept. This is uh, the book of Sirach, chapter 20, verse 29. It says... Presents and gifts blind the eyes of the wise and stop up his mouth that he cannot reprove. And that's exactly, you know, what that bribe then did or that whole tax exemption then did. It basically shut up his mouth that he can't reprove. So if he, you know, if a homosexual confronts him on the street, he can't say nothing against that homosexual unless he wants that uh, tax exempt uh, status to be revoked, you know, according to their statute, and instead of following what the Most High say, which is to condemn a homosexual to death, you know, but he can't say that because he didn't took that gift, and he can't say anything, you know? So, hey, I mean, this, 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 it's going to be a lot more guys that's going to be selling out, man. They ain't the only one. That dude, Gehenna, you know, General Yohanna, General Grievous, whoever you want to call him, you know, he he did the same thing. That's why, uh, according to that S Southern Poverty Law uh, little interview he did a couple years ago, they asked him about homosexuality, and he said that they can come back, you know, and if they backslide, it's just another error or whatever he tried to say but basically trying to justify them because he know if he said otherwise according to the scriptures that his tax exempt status would be revoked you know so uh you know i just wanted to touch up on that you know and with that all praise and glory to yahweh by shim yahweh shah double honors to the elders of gms and salutations to all your akim out there shalom